Hello viewers and welcome to yet another episode of Crime and Road Safety Watch, a program that is proudly brought to you by your police service, the Zimbabwe Republic Police. I'm your host, Assistant Inspector Elliot Kudzai Ganyani, and like all times, I feel pretty excited to have you along. Detectives in Norton, Marshall and West Province reacted to a tip-off and managed to arrest a gang of thieves who were hiding in Zivarasekwa Extension in Harare. We managed to speak to the acting officer in charge, CID Norton, for more on this case. We experienced an upsurge in cases of unlawful entry and theft, where culprits were targeting uh, beer outlets, uh, looting out uh, cased beers and, uh, and, and crates of clear beers. And in our farming areas, they were targeting solar equipment which includes solar panels and uh, bow pumps. Then uh, we formed a team to thoroughly investigate these cases, uh, which resulted in them picking uh, information that uh, the actual culprits were hiding in the Orasekwa extension Harare. Uh, a team of five detectives were, was formed up and, and followed up the information to the Orasekwa extension Harare, where they managed to apprehend five culprits mm -hmm. and uh, led to the recovery of uh, various properties which includes uh, solar panels, uh, diesel generators, uh, a, a water tank, uh, some clear beers and uh, various groceries and speakers which are commonly used in, used in these beer outlets. The five arrested culprits are Victor Maketo of number 1132 Mbiana and Zivarasekwa Extension, Arari. Stanley Mondoro of house number 7178 Zivarasekwa Extension, Arari. Netsai Bingozi of plot number 35 Lumanda Farm, Stepford Nyabira. Uh, works at uh, Tiger Bricks, Zivarasekwa Extension, Arari. Noel Kaposa of number 1359 Zora Extension Harare. Moringa Niso Mugara of uh, house number 6475 Zora Extension Harare. We established that uh, the yellow generator we recovered was actually stolen by means of unlawful entry at, uh, in Vuru area. And we had since contacted ZRP in Vuru and confirmed the incident. We also established that uh, 10 solar panels we actually stolen at uh, F4 Flats area in Kadoma. We arrested uh, the culprits with a, a, a lorry pegged with uh, greenhouse nets and uh, white polythene paper, which is used for, for, for the construction of, uh, of, of greenhouses, which was uh, positively identified by ZRP Beatrice, and we have since contacted ZRP Beatrice and sent a complaint to identify the the stolen material. We still have outstanding culprits who's known as Fanu Kenyas, who's, uh, who's resident in Mount Abden area in Nyabira. And uh, one only known as Peter, but commonly known as uh, Bojongora Bozuero from Zivarasekwa extension area. Crime and Road Safety Watch managed to speak to one of the complainants we had come all the way from his farm in Beatrice, where thieves are stole material used for agricultural purposes. We saw five. We saw the farm back from Manero. 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 My greenhouse are good seen. If I report, I will nearest police station. I do pay up a gift on. No fire case here. If I go see ID, Beatrice. The guys who fire a man, they run back with visa. I change the C I D. I can not on. Pane, I want to go. I want to go. I just go. I just need to go and run. I just need to 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 run. Indeed, crime does not pay. Be responsible and law-abiding citizens at all times. Moving on, the Zimbabwe Republic Police is conducting an operation with other law enforcement organizations and other key stakeholders, codenamed 
Tema, the traffic jungle, phase two. Assistant Commissioner Paul Nyati, the police spokesperson, shares more light on this. The Zimbabwe Republic Police has launched the operation Tem the Traffic Jungle with effect from 12th September 2023. And this operation is running in all the country's 10 provinces. The operation is aimed at dealing with the lawlessness which has been exhibited by some motorists on the country's roads. And in this vein, the Zimbabwe Republic Police will take action against motorists who are driving against the flow of traffic, who are going through red robots. We will also take action against pirate taxis in Mshikashik, where you find that these vehicles are being used to carry passengers at a designated points, to carry passengers without any form of documentation, any form of uh, registration in the process contravening the country's laws. So we are appealing for cooperation from the public, from the motorists, so that we bring sanity on the country's roads. We will also account for vehicles which are moving on the country's roads without number plates, without being registered. The laws of the country are very clear especially in terms of the Vehicle Registration Licensing Act, that no vehicle should be moving on the country's roads without being registered. Because some of these vehicles which are not registered are being used by criminals to commit robbery cases and rape cases and kidnapping. And so the police will impound these cars until the relevant registration processes are complied with. What it also means, anyone who imports a vehicle into the country should ensure that that vehicle is registered within two weeks as required in terms of the Vehicle Registration Licensing Act. We are aware there are people who are claiming that uh, the country does not have adequate stocks of number plates. The Zimbabwe Public Police has been assured by the Central Vehicle Registry that the country has got adequate stocks of number plates and uh, therefore there is no need for anyone to be moving on the country's roads with the temporary number plates or with no number plates at all. We will also take action against the vehicles which are just parked along the roads in CBDs where they are parking bays and the people are causing congestion, people are blocking traffic instead of utilizing the allocated parking spaces. We will also take action against haulage trucks which are now frequenting residential suburbs. Yet, in actual fact, the law is very clear that these vehicles should use a designated route when they are moving in and out of CBDs. We also plead with the commuter associations to rein in their drivers and ensure that the vehicles have got insurance uh, documents, they have got uh, route authority, they've got all the relevant documentation from the relevant ministries which indicate that a particular vehicle is on the road or is carrying passengers in compliance with the laws of the country. We also want to caution and warn drivers who will try to compromise this operation by trying to negotiate with the police officers or to offer a bribe that the law will take its course. So we want the public to report any errand driver who is contravening the country's laws, who is compromising this operation on the telephone number 0242-703-631, 0242-703-631, or national WhatsApp number 0712-800-197, 0712-800-197. From that story, join us in the second segment. Welcome back. We are now in the second segment of Crime and Road Safety Watch. And thank you for staying tuned. 
His Excellency, the President, uh, Comrade Dr. Emerson Dambuzo Munangagwa, recently promoted uh, officers in the ZRP. The officers were conferred with their new badges of rank a week ago. Crime and Road Safety Watch attended the Conferment Parade, which happened at ZRP Mukushi Training Academy, where the Commissioner General of Police, Tandabantu Godwin Matanga, was the guest of honor. I am pleased to officiate at this momentous occasion today as we confer badges of rank to the recently promoted senior officers. Allow me at the concert to convey my hearty congratulations to the newly promoted 18 superintendents for being recognized <coughs> among several other officers as being fit to take up new roles and responsibilities. The fact that we have been elevated to become senior officers makes the organizational expectations even higher. This is because you will have the new responsibility of assisting officers commanding districts under whom most of you shall be deployed. Such highly regarded work comes with the demand for exemplary leadership, unquestionable patriotism, as well as being an embodiment of discipline and ethical conduct. You should always be mindful that your elevation is not a passport to settling personal scores with those below you. Neither is it an opportunity to abuse authority and organizational resources for self-aggrandizement or otherwise. I implore you to revere the strength of teamwork to which you owe your promotion. It is an opportunity for you to reciprocate the trust and confidence that the organization and government has reposed on you by upholding the virtues of professionalism, transparency, and fairness. I therefore challenge you all to ensure that the organizational measure building block of discipline is not only maintained, but must be as of necessity be enforced among all members and at all times. Let me reiterate that peace is a virtue that has become the pride of our nation. You must realize that we are the vanguard of that peace and your elevation should bring forth the required zest and the motivation to ensure that we further entrench it among our citizens. I am aware that 33% of those promoted to superintendent are women. May I therefore challenge all female senior officers who have been promoted to take this opportunity to demonstrate ability and inspire fellow women to aspire for more and better things in their work and social life. The Commissioner General of Police, Tandabantu Godwin Matanga, also promoted non-commissioned officers in the ZRP. We attended uh, some of the confirmed parades uh, at uh, ZRP Mukushi Training Academy as well as at support unit at Chikurubi headquarters. May I take this opportunity to express my heartfelt congratulations to the newly promoted non-commissioned officers. Indeed, today is a day worth celebrating as it arouses an important dimension to your policing careers by adding new responsibilities and postings. I have the honor to highlight that this fair promotion exercise, which was mainly based on merit and sensitivity to gender equity, has seen 1,031 constables being promoted to the rank of sergeant. A further 59 sergeants have been promoted to the rank of sergeant major, and to keep the promotion exercise for non-commissioned members, 346 surgeons have been promoted to the rank of assistant inspector. In total, the exercise saw 906 male and 530 female members being promoted. The badges of rank you are being conferred with today are therefore a distinct recognition of hard work and the levels we have attained. In this respect, 
you are now custodians and stewards of the operational supervisory level of the organization. The organization expects you to be professional, exemplary, and fair role models to your peers and subordinates. I would like to thank the Commissioner General for this promotion. It shows that they've seen potential in me to carry the name of the organization to greater heights. We say congratulations, Makoro Koto Amtlope, to all the police officers who were promoted recently. Moving on, some accidents are a result of tire burst, which could be a result of high temperatures. It is therefore important to always check your tires before embarking on any journey. Let us find out more from the Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe. In this summer season, tires often fall victim due to high temperatures and this often results in tire burst. This, however, is very dangerous for drivers, for pedestrians, for passengers, and all road users, including surrounding vehicles. There are several factors that can cause tires to burst, and the primary factor being hot temperatures, high speeds, the use of worn out tires, and under and over inflated tires, which can cause the tires to overheat. How do you mitigate this? You can only mitigate this by ensuring that you fill the tires with the recommended pressure. The recommended pressure can only be seen on the tire or the vehicle's manual. As Traffic Safety Council Zimbabwe, we recommend that the motoring public should properly inflate their tires with the recommended tire pressure. As you travel in this summer season, always ensure that you have a spare wheel. In the event of a breakdown, you will be able to change the damaged tire. We'd also like to urge drivers to avoid overloading in this season in order to avoid excess pressure on tires. After importing a vehicle, ensure that you change all accessories, including tires, to suit the regulations of this country. Before embarking on a journey, always inspect your tires and remember to check for any damage or conditions that may need attention. It is important for a driver to use reputable tire brands. As Traffic Safety Council Zimbabwe would like to urge the motoring public to always exercise caution as they travel in this season. Do not move an inch. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We are now in the third and final segment of Crime and Road Safety Watch. The Zimbabwe Republic Police does not condone acts of violence that happened at Baba Field Stadium in Bulawayo on the 10th of September 2023. To this end, the police is effecting arrest for numerous offenses, including the following. Contravening the Firearms Act, criminal nuisance and public violence. The Zimbabwe Republic Police assures the public, that uh, investigations in connection with the public violence, which occurred at the Premier Soccer League match between Dynamos and Highlanders on the 10th of September 2023, investigations are progressing very well. So far, we've arrested 19 suspects. Some of them have appeared before the courts, and uh, we want to strongly warn hooligans that anyone who try to cause chaos, to cause violence or inside violence at soccer matches will be dealt with in terms of the country's loss. There is no going back in the fight against public violence. And also, I want to warn politicians to stop this habit of whipping emotions, this habit of taking advantage of soccer matches and in the process they use the social media to communicate whatever political undertones they want to communicate. We will not spare those politicians. And the public should feel free to report some of the suspects whom the Zimbabwe Public Police is currently pursuing. They can go to Blower Central, they can go to any nearest police station to report so that uh, 
these culprits are brought to book. We will also publicize the names of these suspects so that people become aware that these are the people who are causing violence at soccer matches. So definitely, definitely, we appreciate the cooperation which we are receiving from the public. We urge the public to continue supplying information so that these culprits are brought to book. We say no to violence of any nature. The Zimbabwe Republic Peace assures members of the public that full-scale investigations will be carried out to account for all culprits who were involved. In another story, police in Gwanda have been boosted in its operations following a donation of police bases to police previously isolated communities. For me, it is also an honor to be invited to come and address you at this occasion where we witness a true reflection and a typical example of community-oriented policing at work. Contemporary policing, as we all know, is anchored on successful community partnership with the police. It has been said repeatedly here that there is need for police to partner with its community or the community to partner with its police. It has always been mentioned that the Gwanda, and indeed like any other city, was having problems of crime, or is having serious problems of crime. And the construction of this facility, and the other facilities that we saw at Red Cross in Spitzko, goes a long way in addressing the challenges that we have been experiencing as communities. From this explanation, it is clear that the police do not work in isolation. We are a public entity, and as a public entity, we work with the support of the public. From that story, it is now time for people who are on the police wanted list. Nyamandovu police is looking for Tinashe Zule of Proa Village, Chief Delhi Nyamandovu, for a case of murder. Nyamandovu police is also looking for Sibosi Songwenya of Lulukwe Village, Chief Delhi Nyamandovu, for cases of rape and kidnapping. Lastly, ZRP Dangamvura is looking for Roland Rumbwere of house number 4893 area 3 Dangamvura in Mutare for cases of rape, assault and theft. Should you have information that may help in locating any of these wanted people, please feel free to visit or contact any nearest police establishment. Alternatively, you can link with us on any of the following details. Our national complaints our desk number is 0242-703631. Visit our website www.zrp.gov.zw. You can email us on feedback at zrp.gov.zw. Link with us on our Twitter handle at Police Zimbabwe or like us on our Facebook page, Zimbabwe Republic Police. To those who may have missed any of our previous episodes, do not despair as you can watch all Crime Watch episodes on the ZRP YouTube channel, Zimbabwe Republic Police. I must say thank you very much for taking time to be with us on this week's Crime and Road Safety Watch episode. Until we meet again next time from I, Elliot Kudzai Ganyani. The Zimbabwe Republic Police, as well as the Crime and Road Safety Watch crew behind the scenes. Do take care.